Welcome back guys. So in this video, we are going to be finishing up our IG list kit tutorial piece, um, setting it up. This is the fourth and final. And at the end of this video, we should have a working model where we're using IG list kit uh, framework to present our collection view. So if this is something that interests you, stay tuned. So in this video, we'll be actually working on creating our section controller. The I believe the last video or the first video, we did the adapter. Um, so maybe it was the second video, the adapter, and then the data was, I believe, the first. But um, there'll be links to all of the tutorials thus far, so that, that way you guys can see this. Um, and I probably should have showed it to you earlier. But yeah, so today we're gonna to be talking about the section controller, but first let's talk about the cells. So I'm just gonna clean this up. What I wanna do is get the some ID set up. So I currently have this identifier called cell, and instead I'm just going to, because we're gonna probably have multiple cells, and to say something generic like cells probably won't do us much good. So I'm just going to change this into the reduce identifier, make sure I'm on the right thing. I'm clicked on the entire cell. I'm just gonna call the feed collection view cell. And then the same thing for the restoration ID. Okay, so I already have the feed cell set up with the profile image, the label, and the image view. So with all that's set up here. Now what we want to do is we're going to want to actually create our section controller. So see, we actually have a place mark for what we want it to be named here. So I'm just gonna copy that. I'm just going to right click in the section controller, well the controllers group. I'm gonna create a new file. It's going to be a Cocoa Touch class and I'm just going to name it the post, selection, post section controller. It's going to be a subclass from IG list section controller. And once you have that all set up, just hit enter or next. Okay, so here we are, we have our section controller and it's just going to index and this should actually probably go away. What I need to do is I want to go ahead and import Firebase, not Firebase, but IG list kit. And as you see, it's already kind of yelling at us to Okay, so because we're working with our, our cells, we're going to go ahead and import our reusable pot that we installed in the beginning, usable. And we're also going to want to import our SD web image because that's how we'll be displaying our images. All right, so we have those things added. We know that this post selection is going to be of a var post, our post model that we did in the first video. And to stick to routine, we're just going to create extensions to implement some of these methods for the post section controller. The first one being the IG list section type implement this protocol in order to be used with IG list kit. And the first thing we want to do is we have some things, as you see, it's yelling at us. Um, it does not conform to protocol. So what we need to do is either you can do a command click on this to go in here and figure out what we need. We need this public number of ints. So let's go ahead and copy that and jump back. We'll need to implement this. And then what, what that's going to do is the number of items. So right now we only have the post. We haven't split it up into the different sections like Instagram has. So right now we're just going to return one. And it's more that we have to obviously do. So let's scroll down and see what else we need. We need to get the size of the, the cell. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna paste that there and I'm going to return a CG uh, size. So to get your width and height, you can just go into your cell. I see that my cell is going to be, let's actually change this, let's say 375 by 540, not 545 is good. 
375 by 545. So I'm just going to go back in here. I'm going to say it's going to be 375 by 545. And of course, you can we can change this to be a dynamic, dynamically grabbing this uh, width and height. That would be preferable. But just for the sake of time, it's still yelling at us. So that means we must uh, we must be missing something. So I'm going back in here. And then this function here, we want to have a cell for item at. And it's still yelling at us. So let's see why it's yelling at us. Do we have anything else in here? Yes, we have these other two functions here. Did update and then um, did select. So I'm just going to copy both of these and just jump back. So the way we're going to set up the cell is the first thing we want to do is we want to gain access to the cell class. So let's say cell class is going to be a string. So we're just basically trying to get access to our, our file, our nib file in our class. So string is equal to our feed collection view controller, actually cell um, dot identifier. A reuse identifier actually okay our reuse identifier and it's going to yell us for a second we'll get back to that though all right so now let's set up our cell which is going to be a collection which we just looked at um, collection context and we want to make sure that this is actually going to show up Okay, yes, it gives us access to it. So we should be okay. Collection context. And we're going to do our usual DQ reusable cell. And we're going to do the with nib name. It's actually not popping up for us right now, but we're going to do the with nib name. And I'm just going to say the, the name is going to be the item that we got in this cell class. The bundle is gonna be main. Um, we're going to use um, this this class. Make sure that this is. Uh, let's go ahead and clean that. OK. Um, and then we, we're going to get this value for index. OK, so we got this error here. Well, no, it's our post collection. We're so so we forgot something because it's saying that we can't use this reuse identifier. So this is where we're going to jump back into our our collection view nib class, and we're just going to add the import um, reusable here, as well as just say uh, add the header for nib reusable. Okay, so that should clear that up for us. So let's jump back into our post section controller. It looks like we're good to go, but we still need to return our cell. So I got to say let, okay. So if let, so we're gonna say that this cell is going to be a feed collection view cell. And that's just gonna give us access to, and I don't know, this has always been just wonky for me, but we're going to say the cell is going to be. OK, there we go. So we're going to say our profile image is going to be set by our image, our SD web image. But so I'm just going to just do URL and then in the URL, we're going to need a URL and it's going to be a string that we're gonna get back from the data. So Firebase, and it's going to be post, cause that's what we're using. And it's going to be the profile pick. Okay, so now we've set our profile pick and we're just gonna just return the cell here. So it can stop yelling at us. But we also need to do the username as well as the post pick. Well, the post the posted pick. So I'm just going to do the username label dot text is going to be equal to post dot um, user name. 
And then last but not least, take care of the actual post. So post image view .sd web image. It's going to be a URL. The type URL constructor It's going to be a string and it's going to be from our post. My computer gave up on me. So I'm just going to go ahead and just add these really quickly since we've already kind of tried to walk through it. Okay, so now we just need to last but not least in this video, handle this did update. So we're just going to do that by saying it's going to be a post is going to be equal to object as a post. And then that's it. So let's make sure that we don't have any bugs clean. We're going to build. All right, so here we go. We're live and direct with the IG list kit. So as you see, we have our posts coming in and they're kind of just disappearing as we get to a certain point. Okay. And yeah, so I hope this was helpful for you for you guys. Now I'll, this doesn't look really super amazing, unbelievably great, but um, that's really cool how these items are being taken care of, but we will actually, I will show you, just stick with me why this is so awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys got at least to this point. Let me know if you didn't. Um, and I'll try to help you as best you can. Now I will see you guys in the next video where we'll be actually doing some really cool things with this now that we understand it. And I will see you guys later. Bye.